I see the future. I applied for this program because I was interested to see what it would be like to uh, be in Germany. Uh, not only just being in Germany as a country, but also exploring uh, these scientific institutions in Germany and see how research is conducted in this foreign country. I went to Germany sophomore year of high school and it was probably the best experience of my life. So whenever I was told I got the chance to go back, I was really, really excited, like, that I, especially because it's a STEM thing too. Last time I went, it was more cultural and like speaking and language stuff. So this time it was like, if I get to put the two together, which is what I want to do. The tour of our stem testic 12 in Germany um, uh, led to uh, several research institutions. It also included a uh, German high school, a Mint Excellence Center, um, and uh, it was very, very important uh, for us as organizers just to make sure that uh, students can engage in interactive activities at these places. The active playing and active dealing of the young people uh, with experiments and with scientific uh, questions is important. This will uh, lead them to a higher uh, identification, they will remember it. The goal of the project is to um, familiarize teenagers with Germany, introduce them to Germany as a country of research and of science. We want to show them what it has to offer and we want to introduce them to teenagers which have the same interests as they do. Internationalization is, is really a hot topic and uh, uh, you can't start uh, early enough, so to say. This program has definitely changed my life. It changes the way I look at things, but also the way, not just changing the way I look at science and engineering, but changing the way I look at how people around the world look at science and engineering. Das Science Center Spektrum, das ist, muss man sagen, ein Experimentierhaus, eine Experimentierwelt, wo man halt als, egal ob jung, ob alt oder interessiert oder vielleicht nicht interessiert, hier vor Ort einfach mit interaktiven Experimentierstationen in Berührung kommen kann. Since this museum is mainly focused on physics, and I believe that physics is the foundation of all other sciences, I think it's important for young scientists like everyone else here to come here first and experience the demos that they have here. And since it's demos, you can interact with each of the uh, uh, stations and you can learn a lot by touching and seeing. When you start with this one, it begins sw swinging, but then it like, tr uh, by the oscillation, it transfers energy over to this one, and eventually this one will stop swinging, and this one will start swinging, and then after this one has been swinging for a while, it'll start transferring energy back to that one, and then it will stop, and this will keep on swinging. And if there wasn't uh, energy lost due to friction and heat, then this would keep on going, like, passing back and forth forever, which would be quite interesting. And this afternoon, we will do some demonstrations what we do in the research of bionics. Evolution is technique, evolution strategy. It also be belongs also to, the, to bionics because in evolution technique or evolution strategy, we imitate the rules of biological evolution to optimize technical systems. Well, I, I will definitely look at the world and the way whenever I go back to my hometown, I'll look at the way animals and those kind of things move in their real natural setting. And it's, I'll look at the way that the professor does in that he sees how things move and then he's able to transfer them to his work and to his studies and to make that connection. 35 years, I always use such a car. It's a second car the university will give me for my research and 
the first time, 20 years long, I always was sleeping here <laughs> in this area. It's been the most exciting to see uh, all these behind the scenes things that ordinary people would not get to see here in Germany. When I was a young boy, I was very, very much interested in model airplanes. And the model to design a good model airplane, this was always a bird. And this was the first <laughs> thing I came in contact with biology. And then I studied aircraft engineering here at the Technical University of Berlin. I studied an engineering subject, but on the other hand, I was always so very, very convinced <laughs> that biology solutions are optimal. I've opened my mind to other fields after visiting the bionics uh, lab in, uh, in Berlin. I'm now more open to looking at other fields as well. At first, I was only thinking about aerospace, which I still really find a lot of interest to aerospace, but now I'm also starting to think about other fields based on what I've seen here. You can also go here to the rainfall and look what will happen here. That won't be funny for Germany if there's uh, less rain. So, climate change. Yeah, it's a euphemism. It's really global, um, global warming. And looking at the weather outside and experiencing this wind chill, warming sounds really great right now. But you know, it's actually not. If we do not take care of what has been given to us to take care of, then someday we will lose it and our future generations will blame us. And they, they will be able to point a finger at us and say, that is, those are the people who could have done something and did not. We must reduce carbon emissions and other greenhouse gas emissions. By doing this, we will be able to slow global warming and possibly reverse it in the future. This is a slow process. We won't see results immediately. But there are many ways we can do it, and we will see results in the future. And our future generations can profit from our hard work. Also, internationale Studenten finde ich auch gut, wenn man, äh, wenn man äh, den Radius erweitert. Ich hatte letztes Mal auch gerade eine Führung mit internationalen Erasmus-Studenten, dass man denen auch die Sachen zeigt, dass man äh, den Austausch hat. Nicht nur, äh, eben, nur nicht, nicht nur die Wissenschaft in Deutschland intern hat, weil das betrifft ja alle Klimaveränderungen. Von dem her ist der wissenschaftliche Austausch zwischen den verschiedenen Nationen auch sehr wichtig. I love Berlin. It's such a beautiful city. Um, this is my first time in Germany and in Berlin, and it's just been amazing. Salz and pfeffer? Yeah. Okay, here's ein Kriegers. Vielen Dank. Wo ist mein Geld? Das ist 2,80 Euro. Ah, ich habe kein Geld. Kein Geld? Okay, das ist gut für heute. Oh, there's a lot of science in here. I mean, first you have to use chemistry with all of the different sauces and the recipes. And then, of course, the mathematics with the different uh, measurements that you need to cook the right amount of curry rice. achievement in 2005, uh, which we are very proud of, uh, is our certification as Mint Excellence School. I think you know it as STEM. And we received this special award for our math, computer science, science and technology program. Ihr müsst die Lichtquelle hiermit anvisieren, ja, als wolltet ihr drauf schießen. So. Und, <lacht> genau. Und dann guckt ihr schräg rein. Also, visieren. Gucken, ob durch den Schlitz hier oben Licht fällt und dann quasi so reinschauen. It was an amazing experience to participate in uh, hands-on activities um, while taking classes here. Uh, we were able to uh, do some light uh, spectroscopy with um, some flame tests of uh, compounds such as lithium carbonate and sodium chloride. These STEM students are wonderful. They're really awesome. Um, I've got the feeling they want to be here, they want to do this, they want to compare how it works here, how it works in the United States. I like it a lot more. Um, first of all, the class size is smaller. Secondly, the desks are really cool. In America, the desks are all very separated and like, 
you know, it's not very interactive. I really enjoy how um, there's so much really great lab space in here and it seems very interactive. The teacher is very nice. It, it's, it's just really great. I wish I could go to school here. I think it's really cool because we get to actually experience what the German high schools go through and how they learn. And it's really different from what we have in America and I just think that's really neat because it's, it's a change in learning. We all like what music, we like going out with friends, watching movies. So more similarities and differences. Viele haben auch andere Hintergründe, familiäre Hintergründe. Sie zum Beispiel kommt aus Indien, beziehungsweise ihre Familie. Und ähm, das ist auch ganz spannend, darüber mal mehr zu erfahren. I really would like to come back to Europe um, after college or do uh, during my undergraduate do study abroad um, where I could again combine the two of German and physics so this is a great introduction and really gives me a foundation to work with. We want to to attract students who are interested in the sciences and show them that it is good to also focus on language. So after participating in the amazing Discover a New Path, Explore Germany program by the Goethe Institute, I decided to actually enroll at the Technical University of Braunschweig. So I'll, get, I'll show you my apartment here, my new student home. So here, watch your step as you enter. On the right side, you'll see my beautiful bed right here. Yep, it's pretty nice, just for me. Then you have a shower, one toilet, and one uh, lavatory. And then as you enter here, you'll see my living room. But actually, I'm just kidding. This is a real life laboratory used for medicine and information technologies here at the Technical University of Braunschweig. So what I learned here today was that by using these infrared sensors and by collecting data, they can better help someone when in the case of being alone if they fall or if they need assistance. We are the decision support group. It is a, a subgroup of the business information systems in Braunschweig. And um, you see this circle and this is actually what we're doing. What we do is um, we generate plans for transportation services. For example, for a parcel delivery company or um, for a career service. This was probably my favorite presentation so far because it integrated both engineering and uh, business, uh, something I'm very passionate about. Well, we're figuring out how to program a robot to park. So right now we're just trying to get it to turn into the space because we made the um, degree too, too wide so we're trying to make it a 45 instead of a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Right now I have two planes. I have um, Luflanza 1-6 and that's this airplane right here. And then I also have lot 04, which is this one. And so basically I'm trying to land at the Frankfurt airport, which is right here. So I have to wait for instructions from the air traffic controllers to line me up with this ideal path so that I can land on either this runway or this runway. It's um, 25 right or 25 left. Kifanza 16 cleared to land on um, runway 25L. The engagement in the so-called MINT disciplines, mathematics and natural sciences is of course crucial for DLR because uh, this is our young generation and we have to encourage their enthusiasm, we have to uh, interest them for the matter, for the projects we are doing. I will uh, tell you something, the Rosetta project. Um, who of you has heard of the Rosetta project? Uh, oh, I think most of you. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. This specific project, Rosetta, is part of my life. I've dealt for more than 20 years with that project. And uh, if you have worked on such a fantastic project for such a long time, you have, of course, uh, to tell a, long, uh, a lot of stories. Everybody was, was um, waiting on the signal that the three feet would have touched the ground. We are down. And the signal came and all were shouting, hooray, we are down, success. Huh? And the champagne was opened. And it was like a trigger signal. A few seconds later, a sequence of welcome addresses, gratulations came. So, And finally, one of our colleagues 
came out of their control center and said, well, we have a problem. Uh, the harpoons have not fired. <laughs> we are no longer standing on the ground. This period on, on uncertainty lasted almost two hours until the lander finally landed. This tour might be life-changing, might be career-changing, and um, uh, I'm hoping that uh, many of uh, the students will return, stay in touch, and uh, hopefully um, yeah, convince others that it's worthwhile to be in Germany to visit uh, um, STEM research institutions and uh, meet up with Germans. Take up some German too.